Barnes on the drive, throwing it down with authority. Yo guys, Jonathan here, and we're living in a world of clones and knockoffs. For every box of Frosted Mini Wheats, you got your Frosted Cereal Mini Spooners, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Bunch of Cinnamon Squares. For every box of Pop-Tarts, you got your Toast and Pop-Ups. And in this case, for Apple's AirPods, we got a $50 set of Chinese clones that are the closest thing I've seen yet. So I gotta give the clones an A for effort for the attention to detail straight down to the AirPod lookalike case. Here we have some extremely, extremely premium packaging. And actually, if you search for these on Amazon, a few models come up, some come in crappy plastic like this, some come in fancier boxes, but at the end of the day, they are all the same rebranded Chinese clone. So to complete the true clone experience, we're gonna go with the crappy plastic. I hope you guys are enjoying this lovely, relaxing rain soundtrack going on. This kinda looks like a damn doctor glove. I'm about to do an inspection. What this actually is, is the USB cable. So we got that premium USB quality right there. We'll toss that aside and actually take a look at the clones themselves. We got some custom ear tips, the instructions, and the AirPod clones. So it does look like you actually charge them through the case just like the AirPods. Let's go ahead and get all this trash out the way. Kobe. So taking a look at the clones, let's see if we can pop this open. Does it even have the, oh, it like kind of has the magnetic functionality from the AirPod case, but this guy, for whatever reason, does not want to stay in. Pop it back in there. Shake and bake. Now, oh, this doesn't want to stay in, so we'll pop this out. And again, these have some serious length. So for reference and for scale, I got a fresh pair of AirPods right here. That is a much smoother unboxing process for sure. And I gotta say, once we get these lined up side by side, you can see the massive size difference. This is the guy she tells you not to worry about, and this is you. So for a second though, can we agree, even though AirPods may be a little silly looking, these things look ridiculous. They're huge. If AirPods are the equivalent of toothbrush tips in your ears, not gonna say it, but these things look like... Oh man. Oh no, they definitely don't fit that well. I mean, they're kind of like hanging in there by the plastic. Taking those out for a second, one of the biggest difference I assume there is gonna be with the clones versus the actual AirPods is the pairing process. So for that, I'm gonna pop the AirPods back in the case. So for the pairing process with the AirPods, I'm gonna pop the cap and you'll see a little icon pop up instantly. I hit connect and pretty much instantaneously I am connected to the AirPods. And it's gonna be a completely different story I assume with the clones. For these, I think it's gonna be time to whip out the instructions. Hopefully they are in English. If not, I am screwed. Dear customer, thank you for choosing the Goofin 7TWS wireless Bluetooth headset. Please read the user manual carefully for proper instruction to maximize the advantage of our product. So after diving through the instruction manual, from what I understand, we gotta pair the left AirPod clone first. We're gonna hold the multi-function button until we see blue. I'm gonna hop into the Bluetooth section of my phone. Oh, there we go. So in the Bluetooth section, it's gonna pop up as GF7 TWS. That's what she said. I'm gonna connect the left one. First impression is these do not sit in my ear very well. Oh, we got some volume. All right, so that works. So now what we gotta do is actually power this down by holding it, long pressing the multi function button. From there, now that we have the left earbud connected, we gotta do the same thing, but hold both the left and the right together. So finally, I got both of these earbuds blinking blue, and now I will try to connect both of them together. Connected! Here finally is the moment of truth, where we can pop these monsters in my ear. Man, dude. Like, shoving a lollipop in your ears. So, that's kind of funny right there. There's actually more functionality to control your music right here. With the AirPods, to pause them, you gotta double tap and use Siri. With these, you can actually just play and pause on the clones themselves, so plus one for the clones, actually. They don't sound bad. They don't have the cool uh, play-pause functionality of the AirPods by pulling one out of your ear. So right now, even though I pulled this out, the song is still going, plus one for the AirPods. All right, so for reference, I'm gonna pop these AirPods back in. They're instantly connected, so you can see how cool that actually is and works. And that actually seamlessly transferred over. 
Now, sound quality wise, these didn't sound anywhere as bad as I thought they would be for sure. They had more bass than the AirPods, but overall I would say these are clearer and more enjoyable to listen to. But if you like that bass, you actually might like these clones. Now with AirPods, those suckers are gonna stay in my ears pretty much no matter what I do. I've done cartwheels, I've done front flips, and they don't fall out. With these, I am not so sure. So before we go any further, I'm gonna give it the old trusty headbang test. Oh, they're getting looser. They're getting looser. Oh man, I'm dizzy. So much to my surprise, these stayed in my ear. They don't feel as secure as the AirPods, but nonetheless, they passed the test and we're on to round two, the Dude Perfect Dunk Test. I believe I can fly. So after all is said and done, these are kind of a mixed bag for me. They don't sound nearly as bad as I thought they would. And in fact, they actually sound halfway decent, but I think everything else about them outweighs that. For starters, they look ridiculous and there is no other way around that. On top of that, these things are a giant pain in the butt to connect. And I think that is one of the most attractive things about AirPods, the instant connectivity, the fact that once you pull them out of the case and pop them in your ears, they're ready to go. The play pause feature of taking an AirPod out of your ear and then popping it back in to resume play. And even though these may be a fraction of the price of AirPods, if you're looking for a pair of truly wireless earbuds, while they may not look like AirPods, there are still some really great options out there for around 50 to 60 bucks. And even beyond that, I actually really like AirPods. I use them all the time. If you're in the Apple ecosystem, I think they're worth the price. If however you wanna see some other options, potentially how the AirPods stack up against the Beats X wireless, you can check out that video here. Hopefully enjoyed the video. If you did and you are if you like being awesome, make sure to smash that like button. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. This is Jonathan, and I will catch you guys later. But is it pop them? Toast them pop? Toast them pop-ups, man. Who names this stuff?